Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Thursday, July 21st, 2012. Back on the air, we're speaking to you today from our London office in the United Kingdom. Big news in the insurance sector today, Amelin, the biggest syndicate at Lloyd's, has announced plans to squarely come into the American casualty sector. They have set up a broker-focused service company called Amelin Reinsurance Managers. Also, Lord Levine, the former chairman of Lloyd's, was hired yesterday by Hank Greenberg. His new role is going to be that of vice chairman of Star International Corporation. RSA announced that they're going to take an $80 million hit on the uh, bad weather in the UK during the month of June. We can attest to that. The bad weather is still continuing here, although now on the uh, 19th, it's actually a bit sunny in London. Um, finally, some other news, world event news. Uh, it turns out that yesterday in Syria, the brother-in-law of uh, President Assad was killed. He was blown up along with other people when the defense ministry was struck by Syrian rebels. Fighting is continuing on there today within sight of the presidential palace. It's apparently being described as fierce fighting. David Cameron, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, soberly announced yesterday in the House of Commons that austerity is going to continue in Britain until the year 2020. That's eight more years. Of course, that depends on uh, not having any intervening elections. Good luck for him. Also big news here is the uh, Olympic security issue. Uh, a private company was contracted at a cost of 285 million pounds to handle security at much of the venue. The company is called G4S, and if you believe the BBC every night, uh, they're nowhere near close to having finished the job, and the Olympics begin in 10 days. Nick Buckles, the uh, CEO of the company, has been appearing before a special committee in Parliament. Yesterday, there was a uh, terrorist attack in Bulgaria. A bus leaving the uh, Bulgarian airport in the city of Burga was struck by a bomb, killing seven people. Five of them were Israelis. Uh, today, Shimon Peres, normally a voice of moderation, and the Israeli president said that the Israeli Defense Ministry knows that it was Hezbollah behind the attack and is going to root out terrorists everywhere they are found in the world. That's the news for today. We'll come back and see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching, and it's good to see you again.